Welcome back, folks. It is time for more Thief 2 Gold. Um, last time we left off, we were getting ready to assault Lord Baron's place or something like that. Lord Bafford. Bafford Mansion. First floor. So, watch for interior patrols. The entrance is obviously heavily guarded. Do not try a frontal assault unless your murder is suicidal. Arrow cache is there. I did not know about that one. I've never actually looked at this map. The well leads to a basement waterway. Okay. So. Mm. A few too many to try to get by here. You want to come with? Couldn't pay me enough. What? You soft belly. The bears have got these new muscles. I'm pretty sure they won't attack me. Long cheeks, spikes. Last time I was there, there was a real eye gouging. <clears throat> nah, nah. It makes me sick. Unless I do when something I aggressive. Cage, huh? Surprise, you're even in the you? job. Oh, the blood it just turned my poor tummy. Shut up, you tapper. You want blood. You well, they let him go right in. Tell you. Didn't even question him. They were something to see. I wonder if I could, like, knock him out and take his clothes. We're just gonna explore around a little bit. Maybe some type of mages shop there. I think this, uh, world has magic in it. What is this? Probably nothing, but it looks like some type of pump, maybe? It's a pressure valve. No, I don't know exactly why it's ticking like a clock. Okay. I wonder if this all loops back around to Lord Bafford's mansion. Those are sewer grates. I don't actually know if I can open them or not. I hear somebody up here. It's a guard right there. Are you gonna walk all the way down here to me? I'm not gonna move, by the way. He's gonna walk right to me. How's it going? Going pretty good, I guess. How you doing? Just sitting here, crouching and resting my legs. After a hard day's work. So yeah, I'm not aggressive. I'm not in a restricted area. I'm not doing anything that I really shouldn't be doing that and go down it. Only one guard. Still, it'd be nice to get the drop on him. There's more than one guard. There's two guards. How you doing, sir? So, I'm guessing that guard is drunk. back down on that patrol. I do know about pickpocketing. <laughs> Could you possibly be any more okay. So yeah, if you sneak up behind somebody and they've got an item on their belt, you can pickpocket it and steal it. I don't know if it's always successful or not, though. Just go in here. That other guard is going to be coming back soon. I actually kind of wanted to lock it, but whatever. Okay. So. How do we get down here? I really don't want to do that fall. I'm guessing there's not a way for me to kind of like shimmy down it. Do I have a rope or anything? No. I have a potion, a key, and a compass. Well, what's the worst that could happen, right? Well, I thought I was going to hit land like cement or something. Break my legs. Okay. Can 
know, I bet you there's some items hidden down here. We got an air meter over to the right. It looks like sewage meter. Maybe coins. Maybe I can find a wishing well and get rich. Hit my thief score goal just from coins. Hang on. Okay, that's where I came from. I'm not really ready to dive down into that creepy-ass cavern tunnel just yet. Let's see what else we've got over here. I don't rightfully know where this light is coming from, either. It's kind of kind of creeping me out. We've got ghost lights down here. This is actually where I'm supposed to go. Still don't see anything down there. Sword. I want my blackjack. Inside at last. An old storeroom. Yeah, I'm sure breaking these open won't make any noise at all, will they? Oh my god, maybe I can't break them open. I don't have a crowbar. I can pick them up and throw them. them before they get inside you tapper. Oh I don't really feel safe here. Definitely just two guards. I count the footsteps. Sounds like there's one over that way. There's not a door there, is there? No, there is a window. So that guard walked past the window, apparently. There's a hallway there. God, there's so much light. I did not get that arrow cache, by the way. Cache. And at this point, I'm pretty sure it's too late to do so. I really do not like that room. One thing you're going to find out about me while I play stealth games is that I go exceptionally slow. I know those guards are patrolling. We heard them and saw them walk away, so what are their routes? I can hear one coming back from the right. Try to knock him out. Awesome. I didn't even bother to look in this room. It's a perfect place to stash his body. It's pitch black in the entire room. Unfortunately, I don't think I can loot anything from his corpse. kind of nice if I could have taken his uniform. I don't like this hallway either. Another pitch black room. I don't hear anybody. That room's a death trap. so much noise you're just barely climbing over that thing. Where did that other guard go? Probably gonna run face first into him. I heard a whistle.
I'm just gonna hang out here for a second. Yep. A whistle from my right. It's possible that he's not actually gonna patrol anything though. over in that room. This is almost as scary as Monstrum. He's in that room to the right. out of his little hidey hole. Just make one little noise. Damn it, I was hoping he would come through this door. It's not the smartest tool in the shed. He might be a little bit drunk too since his master is out of town. <laughs> well... I don't really feel safe moving here. <laughs> Good lord, please die. Okay. I didn't hear any other guards get alerted. You might actually be in the clear down here. You don't have anything on your belt, do you? Okay. I'm not gonna go that way yet. Oh, a metal floor. Even tiptoeing. I'm incredibly loud. Main reason I kind of want to sneak around is to find stuff to steal. What is this? A shovel? A spear? No, it's definitely a shovel. Maybe it only exists so that I can throw it. And there's that room that I did not like. So onward we go. I just want to sit here for a second. Taking the noises of the building around us, learn what to filter out and what not to. A very well lit stairwell. Hmm. No places to hide. Maybe up at the very top? Surely they've got a guard here. Damn. Now could I hide up there perhaps? Like climb up there? somewhere. Hang on. How do I... Water arrow. Can I put this torch out? No. That would have been too useful. If I could just have a safe room.
really well lit hallways everywhere. There's a guard whistling. God, that whistling is so close. I just want to get somewhere where it starts. I think there's a guard coming. If not, he's in the next room over. What do you have? What if this is the guy that came in the front gate? Also, I'm gonna save it. And I think I'm gonna, let's see, to test. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze. I'll try to cut that out. If not, no apologies. I'll probably forget, honestly. Where are you at, guard? Holy crap. Let's just get away from that room. There was three of them in there. I can't deal with that. It's kind of dark here, but not really. knock this guy out. Why? Just because I can. And he's got food up there. <laughs> Shut up. What did I do? Hit the ceiling with my blackjack first? Okay. Yes. All the food. I don't know if that actually heals me or not. Carrots too. What is this? Oblivion? Everything I see. Hmm. Well, let's carry his body into that storage room. Hopefully, nobody will come patrol through here. There are multiple doors, though. I was kind of hoping I could put him in a barrel. So this leads to the other side. Maybe past those whispering people. Still have to check this out. Maybe another storeroom. Yes. I think there's a drunk. There's a drunk guard somewhere, I'm pretty sure. I heard hiccups. He's on the other side of this wall. Okay. See, I could use a water arrow there. And make this room dark. In fact, I think I will. I did not use these at all whenever I was testing a game a couple months ago. Now, it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put a couple of these out, but I don't know if that causes alarm. There's a guard. I've still got a drunk guard over there somewhere that I'm going to hunt down and knock out. Okay. facing me. I'm not going that way. More bread. Maybe this stuff's just in case you do. Ooh, a plate. I don't know if that was worth anything. Maybe it doesn't update your totals until actually complete the mission. 
I'm guessing this is the front entrance that way. Definitely don't want to go there. Shit, there's a guard. I think I hear one behind me too. Gotta be crap. This is this is bollocks. Okay. Let's just sit here for a moment. Let that guard go do his thing, and I'm guessing this guy patrols up and down through here. Unfortunately, that room is incredibly bright. There is nowhere to hide if he comes down those stairs. But if he comes back down and this guard isn't all up in my shit, we'll go try to knock him out. God, those footsteps are getting close. I wonder how long guards stay knocked out when you blackjack them, if there's actually like a time limit before they wake up and set the alarm off. This guy's coming back. You can barely hear him because he's walking on carpet, I believe. I think it's him. Wooden steps. Should have hit the bottom. You can just stay passed out here in the stairwell. Or not. Since I can't move past his body blocking it. Damn, I actually thought this was a door. Now why would this place have a creepy sound like that? Clear their throat over here. I can just barely hear footsteps. And this is where we're supposed to go. I don't know what that was. Lord Bafford. A recent delivery of antiquities from Bond contains several items which we felt might be of interest to you. Descriptions follow, but you are welcome to drop by our shop to examine them, or our other goods, in person. An ornamental scepter, three feet in length. The body of the staff is weirwood, carved in the star and dot pattern. Six inches of the ferrule and five inches of the grip are bound with burnished copper overlaid by an ink and glaze. Cracodra varnish. The crowning feature of this magnificent piece, however, is the six-inch teardrop cut. Cloudstone, one of the finest of its type we have seen. A treasure box of two feet by three feet of silver birchwood. The lid is of inlaid pearline and onyx and a maze pattern carved into the wood. The feet are lion paws, each clutching a crystal globe. The inside of the box contains two principal compartments, one with the glass shelves and one without. Beneath the compartments is a lockable two-inch false bottom for your most valuable treasures. Grimworth and Deperin, fine antiquities and precious relics. Okay. Shame I can't take that. Ooh, what are you? And since I'm in here, I might as well pick up something for myself. Yeah. I don't know if that's your style or not, Garrett. Can I steal the wine? Yes, I can. Ah, oh, that's nice. What the 
fuck. That is really close. I think it's going away. I was really hoping to close that door. There's a guard down there. Maybe he'll see the open door and get distracted. So if he tries to go into it, we can sneak up behind him. Knock him out and save ourselves a bit of trouble. There's noising about then. Heard me on, okay, you on this marble I'll floor. Find you. Shit, there's two guards. No, you did not. I'm gonna die here. I I really I really did not want to kill anybody. Knock your die! I'm probably gonna die myself. Ah, oh, shit. Yes, I am. <laughs> so, guards are not phased at all by doors. In fact, they will just easily walk through them and ignore them. Um, anyways, let's see. Can I replay it from my last save? Which is actually what I want to do. However, I'm gonna end the video here. I'm nervous we come back. We will try this mission again. This time, um... Be a little bit more careful. Damn, I'm all the way back here.